Nope. It's clear the commissioner wants to keep us uh, at a swift pace here, much like the Golden State Warriors attack. <laughs> so that third quarter, baby. With uh, pick 2-8 for Big Co's team. Who you got, Jason? In the, in the first go-round, you selected DJ Moore for this squad. Out of spite. Out to, of spite. Just to give Big Co a wide receiver on his spite team in pick. the first round. How about that? Not happy about it, but I'll recover. Royce Freeman was on the board at that time. He could have taken him, but I didn't. <laughs> DJ Moore. He'd go back to that episode for that full coverage. But right. here, sure. he's going to get under Big Co's skin some more with this pick. Who you got? We'll see. So, uh, you know, we, we talked about last episode, the talent kind of fell off after after James Washington. Um, just talked about it a second ago. We just did talk about that. Uh, it definitely just fell off again with Gusec- <laughs> Gusecki. Gusecki. Gusecki goes off the board, and, and like, I mean, I like what, what Traquan Smith has going on and Deion Kane, but, like, the Saints are already pretty crowded from an offensive weapon kind of standpoint, and who knows how long Drew Brees will be around. Deion Kane's a great home run cut, in my opinion, but he's got plenty of off-the-field baggage that he brought into the league. Um, and like I said, Gusecki just came off the board. So I'm sitting here with Big Co's team, and all he has is Tom Brady at quarterback, which is oh, pretty Tommy. awesome. Kind of all I need, Bubba. It's all you need from a year-to-year basis. But but long-term, I mean, he's it's the end is near, for sure. Nearer than Tommy ever has Tommy wants to play till 45. Tommy also might have retired this year, but he decided, him and Gronk decided to fill it up again. So... But he wasn't necessarily retiring. Maybe he would just go somewhere else. No sail way. Sail a ship. He ain't going nowhere else. He ain't right. coming ain't home. Coming home. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, at this point, it's a one QB league, so none of the other quarterbacks have come off the board, and I could probably wait until the third round to, to grab another quarterback, but I probably won't have my choice of picks at that point. So where I'm sitting right now, I got my choice of the litter, and I and I got a forty plus year old quarterback, and that's it. So let's let's take a stab on your favorite guy, right? So I went I went Baker Mayfield. All I right. get that. I get. It. I, I see what you're saying. I mean, I will start all this out by saying Tom Brady scored the second most fantasy points in the league of, out of quarterbacks last year in this league. So he did me right. He took care of me. Um, not necessarily points per game, but he got it done. It looks like Alex Smith would outscore him if he played week 17, and obviously Carson Wentz got hurt, and a Rodge didn't finish the season, but whatever. Tommy Things Brady happened. Tom Brady did his thing, and, and it worked out. Um, I, I will probably pl- pass the baton for the pros on Baker Mayfield over to Casey here in a second. I, I mean... Or back to me, I made the pick. Oh, well, uh, Casey <laughs> made. Uh, Casey and I got You're already a, hijacking my time here. Casey and I got in a big, uh, big spat the other day on Lamar Jackson versus Baker Mayfield, and uh, he had some really good points. But Baker Mayfield throws for thirty six touchdowns, forty touchdowns, and forty three touchdowns his last three his three years at Oklahoma. So I mean, dude's on fire. He obviously, you know, he did some things that. More importantly, his team was one game away from the championship. Right. He he was crushing. He was crushing. He did. So I, I don't mind that pick. I really don't. Obviously, I got Tom Brady, but I picked up Tom Brady last year in the draft of this league. Super cheap. And uh, you tricked a new owner is what you did. I did not. <laughs> I took advantage of the <laughs> yeah, James Conner same, love. Same He's thing. a caveman back in the day. <laughs> no. Beating women over the head with a stick. That's what Big Co does during <laughs> trades, man. In the middle. Fresh I, blood. In the, in the middle of the third round of a draft. Anybody, somebody's got a guy. It was James Conner last year. And no, it was not in the middle. It was three, what, three, two, twelve, three, twelve, three. It was definitely six. third round. Third sure. round. Somebody's in love with James Conner, and the dude had three quarterbacks, and I got Tom Brady from him. And uh, you know, that's... idiot. Anyway, let's what what anyway. let's keep going here. Well, where I was going with that, anyway. I can con- I can continue to recycle old quarterbacks and 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 get what do what I need to do. But if I had to make this pick for my own team, which I will be in a couple months when we do this draft, if this same options are on the board. I'm, I'm taking Lamar Jackson over Baker Mayfield. I'll get back to that. So you're taking a quarterback or you're not taking a I could take a quarterback here. I mean, I've already milked the running backs dry early and often in this league. Well, you and did have DJ Moore. <laughs> I took him. I know. We got it. We yeah, got not it. on we my team. We for the it. other teams. For you the other teams. We Arby's. We got it. All the decent shots at running back are gone. You'd be taking running backs that are behind obvious starters at this point. So, and I wouldn't mind having Lamar Jackson at this pick. It was too. You could, you could, 
you get three years on the taxi squad in this league. Okay. So you could easily put Baker on the on the practice squad until Tom's done, and you could even try to go find a retread quarterback, and that's fine. And if Baker develops into something awesome, right, and very consistent, you know, you, oh, you good, struck gold here. Good pick to have but later. What, why why do you want Lamar Jackson over uh, Baker Mayfield? Is the is the best question I think. All right. So I mean, if Baker Mayfield is going to be well, the starter for my team in the next couple of years, like you said, he can be on the roster and on the taxi squad. But for Baker Mayfield to be somebody that I want to stick in my in my lineup over, say, uh, I'll pick up a Philip Rivers or a trade for an Alex Smith, super cheap, or just one of those guys that are super, you know, underrated every year that continue to be in the top ten of fantasy football quarterbacks every season. Uh, I'll I can do that. So if Baker Mayfield would have to be a huge success in the NFL to break. But he wouldn't have to be a huge success to break your starting lineup. He only Why needs not? to be better than a Blake Bortles like, Which, to be in your lineup and, and not be upset about it. You've already said multiple times you have no problem playing Blake Bortles or Andy Dalton or any of those guys. So he doesn't have to be outstanding to be in your lineup. So to say and, that he has to be awesome to crack your lineup isn't necessarily accurate. You just need that a quarterback that's that I would consistent want him to start. To, right, right. That I would to, he would have to be he would have to be really, really, really good professional quarterback to for me to want him over the bottom of the barrel guy that'll get it done. If I if you want me to make it sound like that. A bottom of the barrel quarterback that's startable and it'll get you eighteen points every week. That's what Andy Dalton does, and you can win football games with Andy Dalton. Yeah, last year it didn't work out so hot because they forgot about the offensive line, but that was, you know, you pitch him to the, to the side after week two and you pick up Case Keenum and you run with it. Like that's – you just – you got to be a little flexible when you're going on the bottom of the barrel like that. But so what you give up, your opportunity cost to put on a quarterback on your roster, you give up the Traquan Smith shot. That's mm-hmm. what you're giving up a shot at a Traquan Smith or a Deion Kane or somebody at this pick at 2A. Like that's Which but, that's what but, I was saying. But you just said that you would probably take Lamar Jackson. Right, why? Exactly. Yeah, the, all right. So that's in. so instead like and yeah, Baker Mayfield first first pick in the draft, got all the upside in the world, got a lot a lot of great weapons on the Browns team to work with and if it works out great, but instead of Baker Mayfield, I would probably take a stab on one of those wide receivers, but if Lamar Jackson's on the board, I can forego those wide receivers, the the potential upside on the wide receiver, and look at the salivating potential upside of a Lamar Jackson. I just said Baker Mayfield threw it through two seasons in a row, forty touchdowns, but he's got you know, and he's got and he gets he gets some credit for his legs. He runs around, and he extends some plays, and does you know he does some decent things with his legs. But last year he ran for three hundred eleven yards with five touchdowns. The year before that, six touchdowns. Lamar Jackson. Mr. Heisman Trophy winning Lamar Jackson. Now, he's not throwing for 40-something touchdowns, but in 2016, he, he threw for 30 touchdowns, and then last year he threw for 27, but in respect of those two, same two years, he ran for 21 touchdowns and ran for 18 touchdowns. Like, when Lamar, if Lamar Jackson... Yeah, but, if, you can't, but you can't have Lamar Jackson running for 20 touchdowns in the NFL. I didn't you say just, he's good I'm God, just saying, he, like, you don't, he, that, you don't want like him to rush. And Tomlinson right, stuff. But, I'm, but I'm saying you don't want him running that many times towards the end zone. Well, he's not built like Cam Newton. He can't do, even Cam Newton's gonna. Is try, we're trying to. We're over here saying, hey, we need, Cam needs to stop running around because he keeps getting yeah, but hurt. Cam Newton's been running it up the gut for almost ten years now. I mean, it's right. Cam, well, six or seven, but Cam Newton's been doing quarterback draws against eight men in the box. That's how he's so, he's made a living doing that. Really, there's only been one startable run around fantasy quarterback consistently that's been smaller framed, pretty much since he's been playing fantasy football. Mike Vick, right. And then the shooting star, the blinding light that was RG3 for a season that, that, uh, yeah, and it only lasted for a season. <laughs> yeah, Go ahead and say what long. you want to say, but cause yeah, it was a, he got raw, he got that knee bent backwards against the dude on the Ravens. But like before that happened, this man was like 38 points a game in fantasy football. When Lamar Jackson gets his spot to be the starter, he's a better football. He's a better quarterback than RG3 was. And he's a. He just I don't know is, if that's I don't accurate. Think, I don't agree with that either. I do. Well, okay. D- agree to disagree. I think Lamar Jackson's a better thrower of the football than RG3. Maybe mm. RG3 dropping 80 yard dimes, but other than that, RG3 wasn't as good as Lamar Jackson is so throwing he's the football. accurate down the field, but. Yeah, because how many 80 yard passes do you actually unleash right. in well, the NFL? That doesn't really let, matter. Let me say what I'm saying here. When Lamar Jackson gets on the field. It may last two games. It may last three seasons. I don't know, but it's going to be a blinding light, and you're not going to be able to beat the team. If a, te- if a team's got a decent starting lineup and Lamar Jackson's out there doing his thing, look, dude, Tyrod Taylor has been supporting fantasy football teams for two seasons with his legs, and he ain't 
uh, he's twenty percent of the runner that that Lamar Jackson is. Lamar Jackson is going to absolutely blister some fantasy football points from the quarterback position when he gets his chance. It may not be for a year. The same thing. I can stick him on my taxi squad if I get if he's on the board at two eight and I take Lamar Jackson, stick him on my taxi squad. I don't need anything out of him. I can get by. I say it all the time. Catches are everywhere. I give a ch- give up a shot at Trey Quan Smith. Give up a shot at Deion Kane or did give up a shot at Equinemia St. Brown, who's still on my draft board, even though he's off some people's draft boards. Like give up a shot at those guys who could potentially come in and be on your team, you know, break your roster in the next year or two. It's I'm just, a, Lamar it's just a, on my it's team. a pretty unlikely thing that he's going to get out there and, and and really do well is what I'm saying. Well, he's still and he, there's there's a like, lot more. He's still got a first round draft capital. People the, wanted to take a shot on him. There's a lot more. Ozzie Newsom's just been throwing contracts out around Baker Mayfield scoring you know eighteen to twenty five points on a weekly basis in the NFL and giving you a nice consistent start obviously you can draft the re pick up the retread quarterbacks but this isn't costing you anything right now to basically take it's Baker Mayfield it's costing me two eight could, yeah, but you're probably going to trade two eight or three five for a, one of those retread quarterbacks is what I'm saying maybe most likely well probably a next year's three is how it's probably going to go down but and we talked about that last week on the on the um and it's just after show about it's just a, like you know Michael Vick was pretty much the one and only that was consistent at doing that and so potential is your only argument, right? Here. That, that's basically what I'm saying. Potential well, of, poten- of, and it's a small percentage of potential. We're talking like about it doesn't small. doesn't Baker transfer Mayfield a lot. is the number one pick in the draft. He's a 50 50 chance to even be in the NFL in three years. Sure, sure. So there's but your, you still got to. Ch- is nothing guaranteed that Baker Mayfield is going to really be like any him better? From the quarterback position, but you t- but you I mean, talk about potential. It's not a chance to why I like not, him, but all right. But you just said potential on Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson got a first round draft. He's a first round draft pick for the Ravens, and and Joe Flacco is getting paid like. 20 million next year so no matter what next year it's gonna cost them 16 next year, million to cut them like they're gonna have 16 they're not gonna to just hang cap. on to this that's next year yep and this year he's getting 18 or something like that this year he's getting 12 next year they'll have to pay him 18 if they cut him it'll be 16 million dead and 8 million the following year so they gotta eat like they're gonna have to trade him i don't think they're gonna cut him well, so they got to trade him and find someone to still get, assume you that still, contract. You, yeah, you still got a, you still got went out and drafted a quarterback in the first round, knowing that all that was in play for the Ravens in their front office and their their money. I mean, back in the day, quarterbacks didn't see the field as often. Yeah, but as they we do right but now. but they do now. But that's what I'm saying. So all right, so even if Lamar Jackson doesn't even see the field this year, next year he's the first round draft pick. He's going to be playing next year, probably some this year, maybe not. Probably they're mostly saying they're going to work him and Joe Flacco onto the field at the same time, but that can't happen. The potential, too, too much. the potential for Lamar Jackson is why I take him over Baker Mayfield. But the floor of a guy that has his speed, yeah, in case he's right, he might get out there and get popped in the third play of a game and never play NFL football again. He does like to but lower his he shoulder. Has he has been slide. But he has a, been. He's run for fifty touchdowns. Run for fifty touchdowns in the last two years. It's not like he's out there playing against middle schoolers. He's been out there playing against guys that want to yeah. take his head off. Well, there's plenty but of guys. Many, there's how many plenty touchdowns guys, did Tim Tebow run for? There's plenty of guys running around in the college level that don't have success well, running White. around on the. Sure, but now you JT got it. Now Barrett. you got. Now you're behind an offensive that's, line. That's all that. I'm saying. But now Real you're behind fired. an NFL offensive right, line. Right, but it, now still you got better it still doesn't matter. You're still slender in frame, and these guys are still bigger, stronger, faster at sure. every position. But the floor, his fantasy football floor, is probably right on par with any of those I'm, lower end quarterbacks that you're going to put out there anyway. Because if he's on the field, he's running. I'm not and arguing. When he stops playing, that's because he got hit and he got hurt. The only argument you have here is that the ceiling is is tremendous, and and, it the, could be, and, and the floor is tremendous, and it could be really good. The the floor is questionable. The floor He'll never how, see how, the field because he can't throw an accurate pass. He's he's a, he's a lot more accurate than some of the quarterbacks that have gotten out there to play before. He's, sure, you could make sure. faces if you want to. Lamar Jackson, he's throwing I, I, the all, football. He's all a good the ball is the hitting the ground more than any the, quarterback I've. The, the main lately. the main argument is that, uh, that I'm making is that this is this is not a very likely scenario to pan out to be great. No, because he's not. I didn't say it was likely to be right. Great. That, that's all. That's what I'm arguing. But he doesn't and, and have to be a great NFL quarterback to be a great fantasy quarterback. He has. Quarter, he has quarter, to be good enough to stay on the field. Is what I'm saying. Tyrod Taylor and has to stay to healthy stay on the field. Again, has to stay healthy. Like Tyrod Taylor is a much more complete quarterback than Lamar Jackson is at this point. Tyrod yeah, yeah, Taylor yeah, sat on the sideline for a for, couple for of years. Years exactly. But he Tyrod Taylor doesn't come into the league as a ridiculous thoroughbred Heisman Trophy winning quarterback either. Yeah, but he's, Tyrod Taylor didn't run for thirty touchdowns in a season either. 
I mean, I bet Tyrod did a. He had a lot of. He didn't do yards. anything near like Lamar Jackson. I'm not, I'm not saying I didn't even that he know Tyrod Taylor's just, name. In all college. I'm saying is Lamar that Jackson hangs out on Saturday nights in New York. You're, I'm a, if you want to draft Lamar Jackson first because you like the running around potential, there's clearly no persuading you any other way, and there's no way anybody can tell you any different that it's a small sliver that this actually works out for Lamar Jackson, and you could take a guy like Baker Mayfield who's. Things are more in his face. He has to beat out Tyrod Taylor. He's got a bunch of good things around. His offensive line is good. His play, the, his playmakers are awesome. He's probably got the best backfield in football sure. behind him. And he's most likely going to be starting at some point this season. Like, No, I mean, the, the likelihood, maybe he doesn't, but and the the likelihood sh- that, that, that Baker Mayfield is a better NFL quarterback than Lamar Jackson is showing. He's the first pick. Lamar Jackson's the last pick in the first round. I mean, it would be flip-flopped if it needed to be flip-flopped. But Lamar Jackson, when he hits NFL field as a quarterback on my fantasy football team, he's going to be worth the spot right, no, in no, my no, starting like lineup. I, I understand that you're equating it to fantasy and not real football. That's Just all the, I, the that's fact what, of him actually getting on the field to play real football and then staying on that playing field without getting injured or playing very poorly and getting taken off the field is I don't think is is super high but I'm okay if you were if you're drafting specifically just on the ceiling potential I don't have a, nece- a problem well, with that all right so like you said all right so Joe Flacco he had a good run through the playoffs he got a Super Bowl ring he but had the best he's run been, through the playoffs he's been, ever. he's been hurt for a couple years he blew a knee out he's got a back injury and right now and, and and maybe he'll come out this year you know, kicking butt and taking names, but he has looked really, really bad and benchable in the last couple seasons. Uh, he's so, back hasn't been right, but back, I mean, but how many backs have get right? Nope, that's what I'm saying. How many people you ever met that used to have a back injury? Like you don't used to have a back injury, so if he gets, well, you're, you're paying him a lot of money, it, and he's won you a Super Bowl, so he's capable of getting you there and delivering. So you just well, don't we'll pull see. that guy and off they the want field, to run the ball regardless of defense. what armchair quarterbacks think. Joe Flacco can play the position, sure, like, but he's not playing it like he used to play it. Well, I mean, that's, that's I guess that's fair enough, but you're still not going to you're not yanking him off the field anytime soon. I don't think to put Lamar Jackson in there, No way. especially when Lamar Jackson's not going to be able to do like you might. Str- I, I don't know. I have, I'm not a QB whisperer by any means, but all I know is that the chances of it working out for him at the quarterback position probably isn't my favorite thing ever. And I think I would rather take a shot on Baker Mayfield and have a guy who can score me 20 and some weeks yes baker mayfield crazy could score you 30 or 40 points like he's but it's this, he's a winner he wants to win I like, he's a confident guy thank he's you he's got control of the locker thank room you. people, That's what I was people are gonna, gonna like say. that kind of stuff well i couldn't because you were getting super defensive about because you lamar guys are jackson. acting like like lamar jackson can't throw well, a no, pass no, no, to no, no, a wide no, no, receiver no. the problem is is you're acting like lamar jackson is already at this top of this mountain that's why i have a problem what? with it you guys don't even listen. That's no, no, not we're listening. He was You're at not the top listening. of any we're mountain. Listening. Nobody we're said listening. he was at the top of a mountain. I just said when he gets out there, he's going to be better for your fantasy team than Baker is anytime soon. I believe that. You don't have to believe that. Well, well, mm. that's the problem is that you're but saying you, it the like only it's reason a fact. He, and right, it's and the not. only proof you have or the only explanation you have of this is that there's a higher potential. That's it. That ain't enough for me. I, I just think. said high floor, too. But I, yeah, I mean, but and I he's a first round a draft. You guys are acting sure. like he's a third rounder. Uh-huh. They just might hopefully make see the field someday. They're already putting him on the field with Joe Flacco in his first yeah, week of practice. I, I think he's a good playmaker. I, I maybe he turns out to be an awesome quarterback. I'm not arguing. I, all I'm arguing is that Baker Mayfield is pretty safe, and I don't know what Lamar Jackson if yeah. he's going to be able to play this position and stay on the field. That's okay. That th- thank you. I, I like what. Baker Mayfield's a winner. He's a locker room guy, and people are going to get behind him and rah rah rah. But and he's back, actually he accurate, said, and he's, he's was the most accurate quarterback in the league. He's got things that you like about your actual starting can, quarterback. Now not just, but now he's not just go, the fact that he can run around. But now he's got to go play against NFL defenses. So we'll see how accurate he is against NFL defenses. That's fine, but you you were already super inaccurate against non NFL defenses right. on your side of the ball. Right, but I got my I got like four one speed over here and i'm and well, i don't really you know you get broke run, off real quick we'll see and not play anymore but he could have got broke off real quick for three years in a row and it hadn't happened i mean rg3 didn't get broke off till he was in college a lot of those guys don't stop being like oh i can't run around anymore until i get to the nfl because these guys are a lot faster they're schemed this, for what i'm doing this dude lowers his shoulder man he's like out there playing like a running back that's not gonna work at the nfl level he's a small dude it's not gonna work I, so he's got to make a change. I mean, I'm I'm intrigued by Lamar Jackson. I'm certainly intrigued by sure. Lamar Jackson, and I don't mind taking I don't him. Hate I, it. I just think I have but to take t- Baker Mayfield. But in you front said of him. Baker Mayfield is safe and I, he, uh, much safer. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's the first pick in the draft. But and if I'm 
not starting my franchise with him. I'm playing my fantasy football team, so I'm taking the shot on Lamar Jackson, and I feel good about it. Well, I don't. I do feel good That's about Baker Mayfield. That's why I'm, I feel comfortable taking here. He checks... He checks your arm velocity box if that's what you care about, but Deshaun Watson proved that that doesn't really matter at all, so get out of my face with that. But, I mean, I just – I like this guy before and after the snap. He's out there, like, he's he's moving safeties with his eyes and his head, and he's he's extending plays but to, to make the pass, not to necessarily run, but he can run. He rushed for over 1,000 yards in his career. It wasn't for 40 touchdowns or whatever Lamar Jackson had, 30. Tyrod Taylor rushed for 24 his final year at Virginia Weird. Tech. But – um. I just I like the way that this guy can scramble and keep the play alive, but he keeps his concentration downfield. Um, it it was reported that the Patriots wanted to move up to number two and take him. I like that. That's pretty cool. The grittiness and the fact that he's never been handed anything. He no no school gave him an offer. Like no major school gave him an offer because he was too small. So he went and walked on at Texas Tech, left there, went to OU, worked his way, played all four years, crushed it, set almost every record you could set in the in the NCAA. And now he made his way to this first Especially pick in the NFL with efficiency draft. of any sort. Right. And 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 I and I like the fact that they have Tyrod there. They don't have to rush him in there. He can learn behind a guy and sit and develop. And the first thing he's been working on is is playing from under center. Um the the only knocks you have on him is that he's small and that he played in a spread offense. That's like the only knock anyone can have on him. Um and and it's like I don't really care. I don't care about that. I like all the other things that he can do. I know he's going to rally these dudes behind him. He's a winner. Like like everything Casey said earlier. Um, I agree with I love the walk-on. 70% on, I, passing percent, uh, completion dude, walk percentage. walk-on turn first pick in the draft. I mean, I, 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 it's not that I don't like Baker Mayfield. I was just taking the shot on on the – yes, if I if you if you act like the floor is not there that I say is there, at least we're not going to – we can't argue about the potential ceiling of Lamar is all I'm saying. If, if Baker Mayfield makes it great, but Lamar Jackson's potential ceiling is ridiculous. And that's who I want my son so lineup. A, a much better argument for what you're stating is, is Deshaun Kaiser coming in last year and playing wasn't very good at playing quarterback, but he ran around a lot. He's also way bigger yeah. than Lamar Jackson but Deshaun, was able to withstain contact but Deshaun Kaiser was no Lamar Jackson that's what I'm saying he's the, Lamar Jackson is is probably going to be top five in the league as a, of an athlete when he walks onto the field he's going to be the fastest player on the field every single Sunday and maybe he gets maybe he gets rolled up in his knees crooked one Sunday and it's not going to work out for him anymore but I mean until that happens I want him on my team because like you said it's not costing me anything my, all right so another opportunity cost to the brother than the wide receivers maybe it costs me a shot at Baker Mayfield to put Lamar Jackson. I'm so if I take Lamar over Baker and Baker turns out to be Russell Wilson, that's going to suck. But at the same time, the same argument is still a 12 man, one quarterback league. Like my replacement level guys, there's just, it's the same argument I have on every week on here. So if, if Baker Mayfield hits and I didn't take him and I took Lamar Jackson, I will never regret it. It's okay. But if, if Lamar Jackson hits for a couple of weeks or a couple of years and he's, Michael Vick, then I'll be super excited about it. And if he blo- if he busts out of the league, I'm not going to regret taking the shot on him. And just to confirm, Tyrod threw for 24 touchdowns his senior year, not ran for 24 touchdowns. He ran for five touchdowns. I didn't think that I didn't like that stat, so I had to check that out. Five touchdowns rushing, not 24. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Only that's a huge 20, discrepancy. 23 rushing touchdowns for his career. Career. How many did Lamar Jackson have in his career? 50. Probably like a thousand. <laughs> yeah, all that dude did was ran around. I don't know if it's the offensive line. Fifty I watched career rushing touchdowns. Like, it's either 50 him career, so half of what Tyrod had. Yeah, Tyrod did it in four years. Lamar did it in three. Lamar runs it amazing. Oh, Lamar does run it really. But you well. know what you see when when you watch one some of his game, all of his games. Balls hitting the floor. Okay, so Tyrod Balls Taylor. The ground. He Tyrod can't even throw Taylor, it to a guy out of the flat without it being behind him a little bit. Four years of four years of production. All right, let's. Jun- no, I got it. It's two more seconds. We already did. We already started. Twenty three hundred yards and twenty seven hundred yards is as for junior and senior year passing. Twenty four and twenty seven hundred. Lamar Jackson thirty five and thirty six hundred. Whole another thousand yards on top, just passing. I already said he ran for four times as many touchdowns and four times as many yards, and he threw for a thousand more yards. So that's what I'm saying. Like this dude is an elite athlete. He's not an elite quarterback, but I don't need him to be elite quarterback to be elite fantasy producer. I'm done. 
so many times we come on here and we don't care about the elite athletes because you got to be able to play football and play the position, right? He's playing the running back position at the quarterback position. I don't. I'm, I'm going to take the quarterback. I'm going to take the passing quarterback. Okay, that's yeah. I think I got to do that. I, what, I get it. it. Right here, anyways. A couple picks later, I can't. I can't argue with it. I, I just. I had to go Baker. So, no problem. That was fun. Got a little heated. We're going to take it's a little good quarterback battle there. Take a little break. That's the longest we ever talked about quarterbacks. We'll, uh, we'll yeah, take it's different. We're going to be right back with uh, pick two nine. Two nine. Question mark for your pleasure. <laughs> 